I want to just go through the silent prayer uh, kind of for about five or ten minutes and give you the folks who have not done it a hint of how to do it because a lot of people are asking me about it now and and uh, I just want to give everybody around the world a chance to do it. So what we're going to do for and this is my New Year's present, one of them. And I want you to start out this year, coming year, right. I want you to start it out with prayer. I encourage you to do that. God said that when you pray to be still and know him. Go into your prayer closet, shut up, and know him. And when he said prayer closet, it doesn't mean a real closet. Like, I've seen people clean out their closets and set up a prayer room in the closet. <laughs> When he's saying go into your prayer closet, he means go within, within you. Be still and know within yourself, not in some room somewhere. Even though you can pray in any room you want, but he means go within yourself. When he talks about go in your prayer closet, be still and know God. You got to go within. So what I'm going to have you to do is sit up and just kind of relax first. Just sit straight and relax. Um, I, I encourage you to sit up and pray because what happens once you let go, your whole mind and body going to relax. You're just going to relax and all the stress that you've been carrying is going to fall away. And, um, and your body may want to go to sleep. Your mind and body will want to go to sleep because you're in a state of relaxation and not stressed out and worried and thinking. So, it's best to do it sitting up until you mature, get past all this stress. Then at some point, if you want to lay down and do it, you can. But I highly recommend sitting up. So I want you to sit up and just let everything go for a minute. And then what I ask you to do is to relax. Just close your eyes and just relax and let your eyeballs just fall back into socket. So you can, you can have your hands hanging or you can have them on your lap. Whatever is comfortable for you, because you're going to let go of everything. Not your will, but God's will. So everybody ready here? All right. So just, just close your eyes and relax. Be still and know God. Of ourselves, we can do nothing. And of ourselves, we know nothing. So when you pray out with words, you, you don't know what to pray for. You're just repeating what you've learned. Oh, Lord, help me, give me this, give me money, show me this and show me that. You're just repeating what you're learning. But we have the Holy Spirit inside of us, and he will intercede on our behalf, and he knows what to pray for. So I want you to just sit straight up in your chair. You have your hands hanging or on your lap, whatever is comfortable, and just relax. Totally let go. Let go and let God. Let God's will be done and not yours. He knows exactly everything that you need, want, and desire. The perfect things that are for you. So you got to learn to let go. All right, so with your eyes closed, and just allow your eyeballs to fall back in the socket. And just relax your tongue, relax in the throat. Just relax. And uh, your whole body just melt. Uh, just kind of become aware from your head and travel down to the tip of your toes. And you may feel a warmth in your body. You might not. You feel, whatever is happening, just let it happen. Allow yourself to breathe. You have, you were created to breathe naturally. You don't have to force yourself to breathe. So relax and just let yourself breathe. All right. Just totally relax. And just be aware of your inside, just from your head to your neck, to your shoulders, all the way down your chest to your stomach, all the way down your legs. Just be aware of that without any effort. No effort. Let go and let God. Let yourself breathe. And I want you to be aware of the noise that's happening around you. Or if it's nothing but silence, be aware of the silence, the quietness. There's beauty in the quietness. It's mind-blowing. 
But if there are noise, if there is noise playing around you, people talking or music or whatever, the train going by your house, just be aware of that because those things are happening in the presence of God. It's happening right now, not in the past and not in the future. And you want to be aware of the present. He says, come into my present. I am right here right now. Not in yesterday, not in tomorrow. Don't think about yesterday. Do not think about tomorrow. Just you got to learn to be present with God and all will be well at all times. And so with your eyes closed, right in the center of your forehead, where thoughts travel, without, without opening your eyes, without looking up, I want you to just become aware of the center of your forehead, right above your eyebrows. And that's where thoughts come. I mean, that's where they travel through. Thoughts are like the wind. We don't know where they come from or where they go. But instead of being caught up in your head, in those thoughts, you want to stand back and just within your mind's eyes and be aware of those thoughts. With no, don't deny them. Do not, uh, do not control them. Do not oppress them. Do not try to hold on to the so-called good ones or the bad ones. Just watch all thoughts coming and going. And you're going to know that you are not your thoughts. Because it's you looking at the not you. You are not your thoughts. You don't create thoughts. And all of them are set up. They build you up just to let you down. They make you feel good to make you feel bad. They make you feel hopeful, give you hope to take away the hope and cause you to feel hopeless. They create suicidal thoughts and doubt and worry and fear. And they cause you to worry and think about what others think of you. All kinds of stuff. And then they make you feel good. They tell you you're better than this person or that person. Look at you, how wonderful you are. You're smart. You're a king. You're a queen. They're all lies. Because the moment you get caught up in, a, in that, in that very moment or a few minutes later, they'll let you down. And now you don't feel like a queen or a king. So let every thought go. You are not your thought. And just be aware of those. Just let them go, all right? No effort at all. Just stand back in your mind's eyes and look at mind's eyes and look at your th those thoughts coming and going. Up until now, you've been caught up in them, uh, trying to live up to them or control them or whatever. From this day forward, I'm asking you to let them go. God's voice is a voiceless voice. He reveals things to you. He doesn't talk to you in your mind, in your head. His voice doesn't sound like your voice or anyone else's voice. Those thoughts are the, voice, is, are the voices of your father, the devil, and his children. Those thoughts, every one of them set you up. So just relax. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to be quiet for one minute. And I just want you to just relax. If you don't see any light or you don't have any thoughts, you only see darkness or you see nothing, just relax in that too. Have no opinion about it. Let God will be done. And if you do this, it's going to, what it does, it slows you down from being lost in your imagination so that the truth can catch up with you and allow you to know that you are not who you think that you are. You're not God and cause you to let go so that God can take over your life. And once that happens, you're locked in. So you got to submit to prayer, and I urge you to do it. So I'm going to be quiet for one minute, and I want you to just relax. If you get caught up in a thought, just realize it, let it go, and just be aware of yourself sitting there. All right? So I'm going to be quiet for a minute.
Be aware of the sole of your belly, yeah, where you're breathing. Deep down in your soul, just be aware of that. And I encourage you to do this every morning when you first wake up. You can get up and wash your face if you need to. Rinse your mouth out, go sit and have a prayer time. That silent prayer so the, the light of God within you can guide you during the day. And then if you get caught up in your head during the day due to the issues of life, the stress and things like that, just take a moment and come back to yourself. Come out of your head. Even while you're talking to others, standing there, you can come out of your thoughts just by realizing you're thinking about something else other than what's being said or what's happening. You're in the past in your mind or in the future in your mind and not present. You, and just come back. It's just that easy. No big deal. And I want to encourage you to do it every night before bed. It doesn't matter if you're traveling, what's going on. Before you go to bed at night, take time to have that prayer time. Um, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to start out, and then it'll work yourself up on its own. And when you pray, you're going to notice that even at night while sleeping, you will have a peaceful sleep. It's going to be beautiful because you're not lost in your head while you're sleeping. A lot of times, most people or many people get caught up in their imagination even while they're sleeping, and it's just, you wake up tired the next morning. So just do it before bed. And some people want to know, well, how long do I do this? You know, when you first start out, five or ten minutes, all right? And then you grow into it. I do it up to an hour sometimes, sometimes 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or the longest I, I pray is an hour. But I've grown into it. I've been doing this for 28 years or so. So be patient with yourself. Uh, if you have a whole bunch of thoughts and you find yourself sitting and you're lost in all these thoughts, that's beautiful because you're now aware of them and it's the awareness that would cause things to change because that's God. It's God who causes you to be aware. He allows you to see that you're caught up in them. So it's not a failure. The devil going to tell you that, oh, look, you're failing, you're into your thoughts, you're lost. Don't fall for that. Don't believe it. Just let it pass. So, uh, so when you're caught up in the thoughts while you're praying, no big deal. And if you see evil things happening on the inside of you, relax into that too. Let go of the Spirit of God will handle it for you. He will take that Spirit away from you. But if, if you jump up and run, or you stop praying, or you be afraid, or you judge yourself, that spirit will stay with you. It has to get a reaction from you in order to survive. But just be still. You're not going to die, but the not you, that spirit inside of you, will die. Then you can live. So just let go. Let these words go in one ear and out the other. Practice this. Do it during the day. And it's just going to change. God knows what he has for you. You don't know. Stop stressing with life. Stop trying to will things to be. Stop uh, trying to force things to happen. Just relax and let go. So I want you, that's it, I think. Open your eyes slowly, kind of come out of it, and life is good. So that's the prayer. We've got to put that on, on the, uh, replace that one with, with the other one we have there. But you got the technique right now, so if you practice it, it'll become aware. And that's my gift for next year, the silent prayer. Oh, that was nice. Y'all can wake up now. <laughs>